that but it's very exciting to see so many unique presentations made out of work of different varieties. And more importantly, why I enjoy it more is because it's not abstract. One can actually relate to each one of these cultures. Very often, uh, when I see art or when I see paintings or sculptures, it takes a long time to really relate to understand what the artist is trying to present and one has to really struggle and visualize. But here what I liked most was it's, you can relate to it really easily. It almost comes uh, naturally. But art has its own very important uh, role of binding society. I'm delighted that uh, through the medium of art very often we can say many things one, which one can't put in words. Very often the truth is reflected in art which may not always be easy to actually express and therefore art, artists, the way they communicate their thoughts, the way they help each one of us reflect on different issues. I was just seeing that beautiful steam engine that Madam has crafted, uh, taking us back, making us nostalgic about the past, particularly when we are all working in the railways. And it really shows how humanity, how technology, how the world has come a long way over the years. But it also shows that one should move at times, one should not remain static, one should not remain rooted in history alone. We saw a beautiful piece uh, which reflected climate change, a ghost city the ruins of a city affected by the changing climate, changing nature of the environment. And it really makes each one of us pause and wonder how responsible we are for that. Is that the future that we want to leave for our children? Is that what's going to happen next going forward? And in that sense, I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to pause in our own world, pause in whatever we are doing, and see how we can learn from the thoughts of the artist, see what we can pick up from the various presentations made here today, <coughs> relate them to our own lives, and maybe emerge as better citizens of the nation, emerge as better human beings. I see a lot of detail has gone into Mrs. Farhad Jamshed's work, which reminds me of a story I read long back about a sculptor who was making an idol of a goddess. And a passerby saw that there was already one idol lying on the ground and he was sculpting a new piece. The passerby asked him, do you need, how many idols do you need? He said, I need one. He said, what are you going to do with the idol? It's going to be placed on a tall pillar, 20 feet high. Then what is that other piece lying on the ground? Oh, but that idol had a scratch on the forehead. But then if it's going to be 20 feet above the ground, nobody will ever be able to see that scratch on the forehead. But the sculptor, the artist replies that I will know there was a scratch on that and God will know that there was a scratch. But I think that reflects the true passion and commitment of an artist to come up with masterpieces, to come up with works of art which are truly, which test a person's patience, 
but also reflect high levels of quality, high levels of care. And I think the various pieces of art that all of us had the privilege of uh, experiencing today, we see that uh, eye for detail, we see that care, we see that passion in every piece that has been sculpted. My congratulations to you, ma'am. And I wish the exhibition well. I wish Installations 18 is one more step forward in your journey as a renowned artist. And uh, I'm sure all of us will continue to get the privilege of seeing more and more works of art coming out from your state. Thank, Thank you very so much.